time now for our community update this morning. And joining us this morning is City of Nina Mayor Dean Crawford. Welcome to Local 5 this morning, Mayor. Good morning. Well, let's talk about the Plaza at Gateway Park Ice Rink, a great addition to downtown Nina. Well, I'll tell you, it's really a game changer for the City of Nina. Uh, four to five million dollars is the estimated value. A group led by John Bergstrom uh, is going to build a Rockefeller style ice rink for the City of Nina. Uh, going to be used about four months of the year for ice, and then the other eight months you'll be able to have the opportunity to have programming, all different kinds of programming, art fairs, outdoor festivals, those types of things in the summer, and uh, it's really a great addition. Uh, generations to come are going to utilize it, and it's going to be uh, a, a boon for the downtown and bring people downtown, so we're very, very excited about it and very appreciative of this gift. When do you think it'll be done? Uh, Hopefully we'll be skating by next November. They're going <laughs> to break ground early, early in the spring, and uh, they have about a seven, six month, seven month uh, construction period, and then it'll be time to lace up the skates and get the family out and enjoy some time in the winter uh, ice skating. And it's going to okay. bring so much more to the city of Nina. You know, talent attraction mm -hmm. and a lot of good, fun things to do in the winter. That sounds like a lot of fun. Obviously, the city has three separate apartment buildings in development right now. How bad is the need for housing in Nina? Well, we, we have had hardly any housing in downtown Nina. We now have three, three projects that are on the table. Two are, are going to break ground very shortly. One is right on Main Street, which will be attached to the ice rink. And so that's exciting. 37 units, uh, six-story building. Uh, uh, in a four-story building on Main Street right around the corner. So these two apartments are going to have about 100 units that are going to be available for rent for the downtown professionals, for seniors who don't want to mow the lawn anymore, and have all the amenities outside your front door. So we're really excited. We finally got some downtown housing, and this is going to be a catalyst for a lot of other things to happen in the downtown. And with new housing, parking has always been a problem, but there is going to be something to help alleviate that now. Yeah, I have $8 million in the uh, upcoming budget for a parking ramp. I mean, whenever you have a successful downtown, we have over 4,000 people that come downtown to work each and every day in some of our uh, businesses, and then all the retail space and everything. Uh, you have to have parking, and parking's been a challenge. And so we're looking at another parking ramp downtown to help alleviate all the parking problems that we currently have and, you know, give the businesses the opportunity to bring people downtown and enjoy uh, what we have to offer in downtown Nina. And with the election coming up, Mayor, and social distancing because of the pandemic, you combined your polls last time into one and had voting at the old ShopGo. How did that all work, and is that going to be the same this time around? Yeah, you know, the good news is ShopGo is still available. The bad news is we'd like to get that uh, facility either rented, leased, or, you know, something new there. But 100,000 square feet, uh, the, the, the real clear answer is that we want to make sure that we create the safest environment for people to vote in November. Uh, absentee ballots, early ballots uh, are, are you know, they're coming in the door quite a bit already. But those people that want to cast their ballot at uh, ShopGo, plenty of space for social distancing, a lot of uh, protections with barrier devices and that. So we want to ensure that not only are workers safe, but also the people that come to vote. All right, thanks for joining us today, Mayor. We appreciate Thank your time.